welcome to Chaotic Grist TV. My name is Jason J. Rock Houston, and our special guest today is uh, singer Kate French from hey. the band um, Thane Glory. Thane Glory. Now, I, I just love the name, um, Kate. Uh, I got to tell you, until Benjamin um, talked to me about uh, setting up this interview, never heard of the band. So how long has the band been together, and are you an original member? Well, the band has been together before me. What happened was, you know, yeah. Leviathan Records, I don't know if you knew this, but I was um, in Chastain prior to being in Vainglory. And so I was signed to Chastain in 94 and Vainglory was on the same record label, Leviathan Records. Okay. And when my contract ended with David, he asked me if I wanted to audition for Vainglory. And Vainglory uh -huh. is my husband's band, which he wasn't my husband then. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But he had wow. done one record and they weren't real happy with their vocalist that they had had previously. Uh, and they wanted to get a new vocalist. And so he offered me the job and I was like, no, nah, I don't know. I do. I want to do this. I was in California and my life was changing. And, and uh, I was actually going through a divorce and I had a, a baby and uh, I was just like, nah. and then something just told me, you know, go audition, audition, just do it. Cause I kept listening to the stuff and Corbin, who's now my husband is like a virtuoso guitar player and he's really good. And so I, I wrote a song, I wrote two songs for or him or I demoed the stuff. And, um, and it's so funny, I sold my car so that I could record on yeah, this machine yeah. called the 2480. I sold my car to buy this machine to make this album. That's how important it was to me. I didn't have a freaking car. Yeah, well, well. So, uh, so I ended up demoing the stuff and then Corbin and I ended up talking back and forth and through the talking, I had never seen him or anything. I had been married. He had yeah. a girlfriend he was together with for seven years and uh, something clicked <laughs> and, and we ended up going and meeting you know, and then we ended up getting married. We got married in, in uh, 2003. So we've been wow, married wow. for almost 20 years now. And uh, that's the Vainglory story. So Vainglory, they had the first vocalist and then I was the second vocalist and hopefully the last, because I mean, it's kind of a family. Yeah, you know, now. Uh, the reason I was asking you if you were an original member, um, like like um, anytime I have anybody on, I want to know a little bit about the history of the band. And um, I, I went on YouTube, I was checking out some of the music and yeah, um, I came across a lot of music, but it was very different sounding. I'm like, okay, either this is like um, a dude, <laughs> different band, which I don't think it is, or a, a change in singers or something. So, yeah. um, you do you know anything about? Because it's quite a it's quite a, a change in the sound. Not that it's um, they're very much a metal band, but I mean, <laughs> um, I dare say that like when I was listening to um, the stuff with you for the very first time, Kate, and prepping for today's interview. I mean, it's some of the heaviest stuff I've heard, like, um, as far as a female-fronted band, maybe since the Butcher Babies. I mean, oh. um, and I dare well, say if you're listening to a run for their money, you know? <laughs> Aw. Now, if you're listening to the new one, which just came out on Animated Insanity Records yeah. in the States and uh -huh. No Dust Records in Europe, this is a double CD. So this is both of the, the stuff, both of the CDs that I did, that I've done, okay. you know, with Vainglory from the start. So it's kind of me you know, yeah. which I'm so glad that they picked this up. It literally um, is a, a new chapter for the band. I mean, um, and and do you at all um, uh, try to cover any of the classic material? Because I'm sure they have their diehard fans from back then. So, no, you know, we don't. I didn't get any kind of, uh, we, we've never done that. I probably should, though. And we love Ted. Ted's a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. And I thought he did a great job. I loved the tone yeah. of his voice. It's just that, Corbin's my husband now. <laughs> no, 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 no. So oh. I've kind of got the capital on uh, Vainglory. <laughs> I mean, no, no, that, 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 it's just kind of, uh, again, it's, it's an no, interesting but, uh, story. Yeah. But the heavy stuff, why I was mentioning this is because there's actually two albums in this one set. And the first one was pretty much traditional uh, metal that, that matches the first album, that kind of traditional sound kind of the old school heavy. And then yeah, yeah. On the second one, which is called Manifesting Destiny, which That's... I wrote a lot of the stuff on, um, you know, I, I just, people were getting so heavy and they're starting to do the growling and the, That's you know, not... and I know a lot of people that are doing that. And so I wanted to kind of capitalize on that. And, and mainly because we were going out to play gigs and we were doing headlining gigs and stuff. And then these bands would come on to open for us and these girls would be like, yeah, rah, 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 you know, doing that, like, like it was tough to do. And it's yeah. not, 
you know, it's not a tough thing to do. So I just started doing it. So I did it a little on this second one, the second yeah. album, Manifesting Destiny. My husband's like, never do that again. Never. That's what I, yeah, that's what I was <laughs> but, listening uh, to. But, but, you so know. we'll go back to classic for the next album that we're yeah. doing. But that's where, you know, that came from is me kind of wanting to be part of the time. And that's on the second. And you won't find that on the first CD, but the second one is a little bit heavier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's you a know, little okay, what I love about it is you're 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 a great example of don't judge a book by its cover because I bet a lot of people come to your concerts, meet you after the show, um, meet you for the first time, just come up on the street and yeah. and they get a certain perception. They might think, oh, she's a singer, oh, oh must be a pop artist, you know, just based yeah. on your look. I do and that then they too. They put the record on, they see you perform live. Oh my god, <laughs> she looks like an <laughs> angel, but she she. She uh, sounds as good as Bruce Dickinson, you know? Aww, <laughs> yeah. thank you. Yeah. yeah, you know, I've always been, uh, uh, I've always been a real strong singer, you know, when I was in a choir and school and all that, I just have been a stronger singer. And then when I heard Leather, who was the first singer for Chastain, I knew what I wanted to do at that point, which is sing this heavier kind of music. And then I kind of melded into my own thing with my own influences of yeah. Rob Halford and Jim Hetfield yeah, and yeah. Albert from Vicious Rumors, who is my ex-husband's band. And uh, um, I don't know if you've heard of Vicious Rumors. They're pretty good. Oh, but, sure, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big influence on me. Carl Albert was just an incredible, because I was in a band that he was in. Carl Albert was in a band called Villain before he was signed to Vicious Rumors oh, on wow. Atlantic Records. And I replaced him in Villain and they used to slave drive me. Whoosh! They'd be wow. like, you have to sing his song and you have to do it perfect. And I'd be like, what? But I will tell you that Villain, because of that band, that was the, the, the band that I grew the most with. They were slave drivers and they wanted me to get things right. But I became a different singer after, you know, being in the studio and them saying, no, 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 do it over, do it over. And and that's the thing is that, you know, every new thing you do, I'm, I'm 54 years old now. I started the journey at 17 years old. I was signed at 24, but I've grown a lot since then. You know, I, I sucked ass. I sucked you, when I started. How can you that. not grow with all that what? experience, you know? What's that? How can you not grow with all that great experience? Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it is a, a work in progress. You have a passion to do something and you just keep doing it and you grow more and more and more. And now, you know, I'm writing everything myself, doing my drums and my bass and my, you know, guitars and everything and putting out my own stuff that I want to do and my own messages that I want to, you know, send out there. And we're still doing Vainglory too, but I'm doing this and I've already done, I'm doing keyboard stuff now, which I'm doing a little bit of kind of pop rock stuff. And wow. now I'll get into the guitar part. I'm kind of brushing up. I play guitar and I play keys and uh -huh. I can program drums. I've got all kinds of software. So I'm doing everything. And it's so cool to be my own artist, you know, to sure, have, sure. yeah, to just not have to worry about anything and to, to have everything. And I'm, I'm learning how to master from Corbin. Corbin is actually a hip hop producer. He's done, um, I don't know if you know, Tech Nine or Ritz. They were number one on the hip hop chart when their, their song came out um uh which is the name of that song oh, shit i can't remember but it's uh ritz and he writes for him and so he's a producer and he wow. also mixes so he's teaching me all that stuff and now i'm doing everything on my own from my lyrics to my voice to my sounds every you know so i'm, I'm growing with that so that's my new growth spurt is that and wow, then, wow. So since exciting. this happened since yeah. benjamin nibla who is yeah. a metal uh promo amazing guy you know they picked us up because of him and it's given me a new spark to um, do Vainglory again too and, and people are coming out and saying that they really love the heavier stuff and so it's kind of it's it's in me you know it's always sure. been in me and I try to sing this pop stuff and I find myself like wanting to scream singing the pop stuff so I got to kind of pull the reins back uh, so anyway pop it's not really pop it's like me it's just my like theme, maybe you know? like mainstream kind of commercial it's even. just it's just it's and i just call it me you know kip winger is a huge influence of mine i love okay. him because of his songwriting and his orchestration yeah. and he has his own stuff that he does and it's just him it's just kind of like what he does with winger but it's his own thing because yeah. it, it's just I mean, a personal thing so it's just something you know, that i'm a great for example my legacy yeah for my i mean people. before anybody knew kip winger could sing or write he was the bass player for Alice Cooper, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. 
Now we all right, know yeah. I know Paul now. I'm friends with Paul Taylor, who is with Winger, and he also played keyboards yeah. for um, Alice Cooper, and yeah. they started Winger, and then Reb and, and him, and uh, I just love uh, songwriting. You know, I think it, it really doesn't matter. I think if you write a fantastic song, then it crosses borders with everything. Sure. sure. So, yeah. So for me, that's the thing is just to write, a, you know, some amazing songs. And um, that's just what I'm hoping to do that, you know, when I'm gone, that someone will listen to my stuff and, and you know, like some of the songs that I've written. My, Songwriting my is where it's at. I mean, let's be honest, that's where the money's at. And, right. um, and, and more than anything, um, you know, with your, um, when you record music, you, you, want, you want to have those songs. I mean, look at a band like Kiss. I mean, they're ending their career. But they're getting ready to call it a day after 50 years. But, yeah. you know, um, a lot of people laugh that they're not the greatest musicians, but you know what? They're great songwriters. Uh, oh, they're many, great. How many you know, I mean, songs, Daryl Smith songs that we heard on the radio, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Years. Right. Those songs well, mean something to us, you know? And, right. and I think you, it's... I'm you sorry, can't deny on. someone's career. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, they wouldn't be where they are today if they weren't good. You know, they're fantastic and yeah. um, smart as shit. You sure, know, sure. their marketing and uh yeah they've they've stood the test of time they were just i guess somewhere i think in nashville area because i saw kip winger and uh, his girlfriend went to see them and they just uh -huh. had pictures of them the other night so where are you you're in long long beach, long beach california yeah. okay yeah. yeah so have you seen kiss this year or no um not recently hopefully i get to see them before, you know they're coming in a few weeks so I yeah right pictures. right yeah. that's what i'm saying you know i was thinking they, they must be on tour so i see your kiss fan because you've got two yeah, yeah. posters yeah, yeah all the way back in the 70s now paul taylor you mentioned um i don't know if you're aware of this but um he, he's on the new uh mick mars soul album coming out in right February. right 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 and i'm helping him push that too he wrote yeah. a lot of the songs on there if, if not all of them but i'm Most helping him yeah, push yeah, that yeah he's, yeah. A, he's a great contributor for, on that from what i understand and you know yeah. kate i I love the fact that like um, like your, your story, you come into Vainglory and they're already an established band, but um, a lot of people here in the band now, they, they may think that the band with you is, you know, what it's always been. And it's not not the case, but you, you like put your stamp. And I think it's so cool that they're putting your two records, you know, together in one package. So people yeah. can kind of That's get the metal, the metal goods of what the band's been since you've been in it, you know? Yeah, and it's fantastic. It's beautiful too. It's really nice. They did a really great job. We didn't have the money to do a yeah. whole lot. We licensed out. I have a record label called Rebellion Records US, and we licensed the first two. Uh -huh. uh, but you know, they have the ability to do more uh, sure. press and more things to get it out there more. And they did a beautiful cover, a beautiful artwork, and everything. So I'm really proud of it. I'm I'm grateful. You know that they as you should be. Out. And I love the fact that you guys are not only a band as as you should be. Um, putting out, you know, new music, but even a band like Van Glory, you, you said they've been around long enough that they could get the point of their career where they say, you know what, nobody's buying CDs, we'll just live on the catalog of music. I'm so glad you guys aren't doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, you know, we got to get out there. And, and uh, like I said, this is kind of lit a fire under our booties to to do another one um you know there every day there's a lot of stuff going on in life and you know we've all got jobs and things that sure. we've got to do so you know those things kind of take precedence but i think that you know you always have to finish stuff you know get stuff done this was a long uh, the second album was a long time in the making and in hindsight i wish we would have done it quicker so this next album that we're working on now hopefully will be done you know in a quicker amount of time and we can get that out there but it, it's it's lit a fire under my booty to do something, you know, again. And and thank you for, you know, complimenting me on this. I appreciate it. It's it's some of my life's work. So sure, sure. And and, yeah. and um how much um like 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 you're saying everybody's got like their day job. So it sounds like you do this pretty much full time, but um mm -hmm. it sounds like uh, or do you have a day job yourself as well? Uh-huh. Well, I do voiceovers actually. Wow, that's so that's I used to be in radio. Yeah, yeah. And um, actually, I used to work for AT and T before that. Wow. You got all <laughs> so kinds I worked of for AT and T, yeah. the corporation. You know, not a not a vendor. So I worked for AT and T. I worked for several companies and been wow. in business. Wow. I worked for Estee Lauder for a long time, um, and now I'm getting in real estate too. So I'm about to take my real estate test. Ah, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Uh, you know, but it, it's just. 
it, you know, it never, I mean, my dream and what I want to do is never going to leave me. You know, my dream is to write songs for a living. I want to, you know, I'm doing the pop songs. So maybe somebody too will pick one up. We're doing country songs. We're doing all kinds of the songs. And then, you know, we want to write. That's what I want to do in the years to come. You know, being over 50 now, I want to, you know, hopefully maybe an artist will pick a song up and then we can do our music too and do what we love to do. Sure. Uh, so, you know, I might be doing all these other things and yeah, you've got to do things to make money, but the passion and, and where my, my heart lies is always and will always be in my own singing and writing. And, and I hope today or someday to do that, you know, to, to not have to worry about doing anything else. And, and I don't have to make some significant amount of money. That's never been my goal. I, I just want to, you know, have enough to, to live and just to sure. do what I love. I think that's the, the best life. If you sure. can do something that you love, you know, and get by, that's, that's me. You know, I don't want to do anything that, Oh, I got to make a million dollars. I don't care. You know, I, okay. I music is my love. So it always has been, and it always will be, and I'm growing with it. And so hopefully I can, you know, uh, yeah. make more in the future and, and do it for a living that yeah, that's yeah. first, but yeah, I do other things. What do you do? Well, I, I believe it or not, um, during the day I work with uh, disabled adults um, oh, and, nice. and like take them to some of them I train on, on the job. Just um, it, it's it's really fun because very it, rewarding. Uh, I've been doing it for like um, ever since I got out of high school. And, and that's the thing. It, it's rewarding in so many different ways. I mean, right. because no two days are exactly alike. And, right. and it's taught me to value to value. Um, life a little more because I see how hard some of these people have to struggle they don't right. have it as good as I've had it and right. uh, it makes Attitude. me appreciate how good I have it you know yeah yeah you know I mean a lot of people don't realize that and and that's invaluable that's a really great thing you know there's a lot of people that that don't see that everything is a you know level playing field that we're all just you know the same you know and and um when you're sharing something and helping someone like you are that's got to be really rewarding yeah it, it is and, and you know um and i got into um, doing these interviews and stuff on the side um you know i've been doing it for probably about 15 16 years and kind of yeah. actually just out of my love of music and i'm not a musician myself so <laughs> if i can't create the music i love to kind of uh, spread the word about the bands I love. And I uh, and again, it, it all goes hand in hand, like, you know, uh, the Lord of PR, our mutual friend who set this up, your, your publicist, uh, Benjamin. Um, yeah. He's given me a lot of great interviews over years. And so even doing this, you realize how everybody is kind of working together to to get the word out. And and if it was not work, working with uh, somebody like him, I, I might not have ever heard of your band. That's one of the things I love about doing this is yeah. – I came across, you know, and so I, again, like anything you do, you want to come across like you know what you're talking about. So I take the time to watch the videos, listen to some of the nice. music, so I can ask about it. And um, I think it's so cool that you you're part of this Vainglory band that they're kind of already established, but you're kind of helping them to reestablish the sound and the what the band is now. And uh -huh. I love the fact that you don't seem to have um, received too much backlash from the fans. Why would you, right? Because you deliver a quality record. Yeah. Now I have a lot of, uh, a, a lot of really good, I call everybody that likes and listens to what I do. My friends, you know, I have a lot of really good friends that help us out and, and then enjoy what we do. And, uh, it's a blessing, you know, I don't take anything for granted and I'm not, you know, um, someone that is, you know, not grateful for everyone that takes the time to listen to what I do. I appreciate it, you know, cause I'm a, I'm a person that listens to music too. Sure, sure. You know? And I think it's important to, you know, and to take the time to listen to. I enjoy this, you sure. know. And, and uh, so, yeah, I think that there are some people that don't, you know, take that for, they take it for granted a little bit. And uh, I don't, and I, I'm, I'm grateful. So thank you for taking a couple, you know, minutes to watch the videos or to listen to the music. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. and you know, um, like I'm, I'm a fan of everything from, you know, classic Van Halen, like I, I love David Lee Ross, you know, kind I of nonsensical him. lyrics, but then I'm also a big fan of songwriting, and that's great songwriting too, because it's so different, but I, I love everything from Kiss and Aerosmith to The Doors, um, yeah. it, you know, um, Tom Petty, The Eagles, yeah. The Rolling Stones, very different types of bands, but you know what they all have in common? Great songwriting. Great These songs, yeah, great songs. I love, uh, let's see, who, who's your favorite songwriter? 
Um, yeah, I'd have to say like I I, I like um, like I said the Kiss guys, Gene and Paul. I like yeah. um, I like like uh, you know uh, Deep Purple, David David Coverdale, and again another another great yeah. example that um like because of my age, um, I first discovered David Coverdale like in White Snake in the eighties, but then I, I come oh. to realize oh wait he, he was he, he was a guy that sang on that Deep Purple album Burn, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. I love uh, I you know I even take it into pop, and I, I just I love all kinds of music. I like writer. I like the Eagles. I like Don Henley. Yeah, yeah. I think he's an amazing songwriter. Um, Kip, I love Kip Winger. He's incredible. Um, you know, uh, I, love I think Alice the Cooper. Eagles for me. Linda yeah. Ronstadt is a huge, sure. and she was an, a huge influence on me. I love her stuff that she did with the Nelson Riddle Orchestra. I don't know if you've ever heard that, but um, it's just fantastic, and the, it's just some beautiful music. Um, those are classic songs, so those aren't songs that uh, that they written. These are old uh, standard tunes that she did. Um, sure. But I love everything, you know. I, I just love music. It's such that's the a thing. I got no filter. If it's if it's good, I like. You know, I'll, I'll, I say at least give it a listen, and then you decide if you don't like it. And all these right. all these bands and artists we've mentioned, there's a reason their songs have been played on the radio for the last forty years. Cause, right, yeah. right, right. Definitely. I I don't think that. You know, I, I think there's a lot of people that narrow themselves into this one category yeah. of music. And, and 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 my ex-husband was like that, where he's just, oh, you listen to that? That's stupid. No, it's not like that. Uh, you know, I listen to everything across the board. I'm not, I'm not, you know, one thing and that's it and everything else is stupid. I think if you open your horizons, you'll, you know, understand and listen and, and see. And I think a lot of people are kind of afraid to do that because there's this tough side of metal oh, sure sure you know i'm metal that's it but yeah. i think really the reality is we've all grown up with things like michael jackson sure, and, sure. and things like that and so you know and he's he's phenomenal i got a chance to work with his guitarist jennifer okay. batten you know who she oh, well, is yeah 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 okay so we just got done with a you know who the guy who wrote eye of the tiger is Jim yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. wrote eye of the tiger so he did a project a couple years back and it was called Tigress. Okay. And Jennifer played guitar. I sang. Yeah. And Abby uh, Stahlschmidt played violin on uh, two songs on one song, actually, that I did, uh, which was the title track. So I got to uh, have Jennifer Batten, who played guitar for Michael Jackson, on this one yeah. track called yeah. Tigress. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. And I love you say so you have your solo stuff. I can't wait to hear, hear some of that. So are you working on a solo CD now or... Well, yeah, I'm I'm doing my songs now, and you can see them uh, on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page. I, you know, you can scroll through there and and listen to each one. I do this thing right now that's really interesting, and it kind of forces me to finish things which I had a problem doing. And uh, you know, I think if you force yourself to finish stuff, then there's no way you can't finish because yeah. you're telling people you're going to finish. And so I do a song every two weeks. Wow, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and it's really a song every week. I haven't even picked my song out. I, I wrote a bunch of songs uh, in lockdown and um, a, I play piano. I don't know if you can see my piano here, uh, yeah. but I play keys and um, guitar. I haven't got to my guitar stuff yet, but I wrote a bunch of stuff and did a bunch of drum programming. And I just started to prolifically come up with all these songs. So now I'm, taking the songs that I started and then uh, every two weeks I finish this and and um, I got to pick up my song for it's it's usually the first and the 15th is what I goal myself and I've done it now for months you know and so I think the songs are recorded do you um do you ever post them like is they're done and see kind of what people's responses are or, or, oh, they're or, done or... yeah they're done I post them but they're pre-production but they're done I mean they're beautiful you know they're songs they're you know complete um, when I go to put them on, um, you know, my record label and send them off on Spotify and have them post them up, uh, which would probably be around Christmas. I'm probably okay. going to get 12 songs yeah. together. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I've, my husband is saying I should do a Kickstarter and then do like a, you know, a CD release for the pop stuff. But I, you know, I, I'm rock. And, and I, so I'm trying to kind of figure well, out you know, what you know, I want to do. Uh, if I could give a suggestion, what I okay, think would be sure. cool. I mean, I, I'm like your husband all the metal too, but but um, just look at like what Dolly Parton doing. She has an album come out this uh, this month. It's yeah. her rock album that she's been talking about since she was inducted in the Rock and Roll of Fame. She told him, "Look, I don't really think I'm 
much of a rock act, so I'm going to have to make a rock album now. She's got everything, right. everybody from Judas Priest. I um, know, I know, I heard Tom that. Hyde and Nikki Six. And yeah. got about 30 songs. Got a, a great cover, I think, of We Are the Champions. My point yeah. is, that's going to be like a great crossover um, album. And she's like, she's a country queen and she's playing with all these heavy hitters. So, I, yeah. you know, I, I think it's possible to put an album together with a little bit of everything. Yeah, you know, I might do that. I, I need to get more into it. Or, or you the... might start off with even just putting out maybe a five or six song EP just to kind of get people's attention and then say we're working on the full length, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, uh, I have kind of tested a little bit. Mostly they say they want me to do kind of a, a little heavier, a little rock. Yeah. Uh, but I'm getting into that. And like I said, everything, you know, you learn a little bit more with everything that you're doing. So I'm kind of I, I, I see, my you craft know, talking to you. as I'm going. You seem like the type of person that you want to keep people guessing. Like I said, people might look at you, you know, for, when they first see you and they're, oh, she's got the face of an angel. But then they Aww. put on the Vainglory CD and they're like, Wow, she can belt them out with, uh, as good as Rob Halford, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I I will tell you that you know I grew up in the era where everybody was singing, you know, everybody's doing the ah, you know, the real high high stuff, ah, you know, the vibrato, Jeff Tate, and you know that was the the goal, and I couldn't do it back then. That was the eighties. And, you then, doing now? <laughs> and then there's something that clicked and, and then it was, it's placement, it, you know, as far as vocals go, it's the way that you place your air in your mouth. And it, it's a, uh, you teach yourself mine. I call mine the goat huh? because the goat is when you, when you talk like, or, or you say something like a goat, like a bat, yeah. bat you know, that, yeah. that sound that you get, that's where you place the air in order to hit these ultra high, high, high notes that I could never hit. And I never knew that. And now I do. And I've wow. grown, you know, and I've learned that. Uh, you found TNT. your voice, Kate. Huh? <laughs> you found your voice as a vocalist. Yeah, I have. And it's, uh, it's a little bit of everyone, you know. I started emulating people. And, you know, at first, people I love, Jeff Tate, like, and, and he complimented me on something I did the other day, um, which, and I love him. Oh, that's great. And, wow. Yeah, and I was thrilled. Uh, but, you know, and now since I've done that, I've kind of taken a little bit from everybody and then kind of done my own thing. And now I, you're right, I have found my own voice. So, you know, I, I feel fortunate. And I'm and, glad and think, it's been I years. Some, an artist like you that, you know, you really do want to have your own voice. So, so often singers get compared to like, oh, you, uh, you're trying to be like the next Ozzy Osbourne or whatever. Right. You, got your, you got your own voice. I mean, probably some of your influences come out. A great example of that is um, is the band Heart. You know, Ann Wilson. I mean, everybody when they think of Heart, you know, Heart from the '80s. You know, right? Uh, alone and and stuff like that. But you go back to like the '70s, Barracuda. I mean, that's almost full blown on metal. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. I was listening to that the other day. Something came up on a reel. She is amazing. But yeah, and and I I don't know if you know Chastain. Did you do you know much about Chastain? I, pretty much, like his, I, 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 I'm not gonna sit there and lie and say I listen to a lot of albums, but I, I'm aware of who he is. I, I, you know, his guitar playing, I, I've dug some of that, but I haven't really followed. But now that I've talked to you, I'm gonna have to go back and listen. Like, how many of the albums did you play on? Well, I was signed to a ten year contract. I was signed in 1994 down in Los Angeles, so I did three albums with him. And I replaced a lady named Leather, who was the original singer, um, and they didn't know what happened. And I, I actually am her friend now, and I'm trying to get her to to tell me what happened. And she won't. <laughs> uh, probably not uh, a, but, so I just kind of, things, yeah. yeah, I just kind of keep it at whatever, you know. But uh, I admire her so much, and she was one of my main influences. But I did three albums with him, and. Um, and I toured and there was there some relevance to what I was saying. I was going to talk to you about something. Oh, yeah. Heart. We when we went on tour, I did um, Barracuda. Oh, wow. And oh, man, it was tough. I, I just am not used to doing that song. But that's a very demanding song. A lot of vocalists cover Barracuda. Yeah. And see, it's interesting because, you know, um, again, um, males, that, that's one of those songs that you, you don't necessarily have to be a female. You, it could be a male or a female singer. It doesn't matter. And, yeah. Uh, I think that'd yeah. be a great song for you to cover, you know, just like kind of throw out there for people to check. Yeah, out. I've done, I've done it. I wasn't thrilled with doing it. It was really tough. I really am a person that would much rather write a song. Than I, yeah, I, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Huh? I, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people love to cover songs. In fact, today, in today's 
you know, day and age, I see a lot of girls covering songs. A lot of girls do that. Um, and I just, you know, I feel like time is, is precious. You know why it's safe. I mean, um, even a producers often tell like up and coming artists, Hey, why don't you go with covering this song? You know, it was a hit back then and maybe you could, you could make it a hit again. It, it's kind of something safe as, as like, versus what you, what you say you love to do. Go yeah. in there and create something original, make your own. You make know, it, make it my own. Yeah. Let's see. What have we done? Uh, we did, uh, I've done Pantera walk. Have you heard wow, Pantera? Wow. Yeah, we did that live. Yeah. And then I, I've done Resurrection, Rob Halford. And I did it like very, uh, like higher than he did it. And I've done a couple covers that we haven't released also. Um, Billy Squire, The Stroke. Wow, wow. Okay. Yeah, that. Yeah. My, my computer's timed so out. Is this your yeah. own little uh, studio area in your house? Yeah, that's this is my studio area. Yeah, this is where I do, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> yeah. I do, um, you know, my voiceovers here, I edit audio. I have um, FL Studio. I work with FL Studio. I don't know if you know what that is, that software. And I also work with a software called Reaper, which is audio editing and uh, then so many more uh, different softwares as far as- Isn't it as amazing what you can do with a computer versus, I mean, of course, if you have the big millions and you could afford to go in a big fancy studio, that's great too. But, yeah, like, and you hire don't people. To. You don't yeah. even need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, not anymore. I've got Easy Drummer, and I've got all the things. You program everything. Yeah. You know, I do everything myself. All, all the things that I do. I, you know, you pick your amplifier. You pick how you want it to sound. You know, you pick, uh, you know, your drum tone. You sure, can, sure. you know, yeah. you can choose from drum tones from Metallica's Black album. Wow, wow. You know, I yeah. mean, I could do that if I want to. They've got that on Easy Drummer and the software that I've got. Uh, so you can do anything you want to these days. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just really being focused on being self-sufficient because studio time is so much money. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you have to pay a lot of money. And I've been in some big studios before. Like I told you, they were cracking the whip on oh, wow. the, oh, yeah. the villain stuff that I had to do. It was called One Bad Apple. That was the name of my... Uh, okay. replacement of that Carl Albert band of villain when I went in the studio. Uh, but nowadays, you know, we don't have to pay, you yeah. know, $70 an hour to go in the studio or, oh, yeah. and, you know, and it's just so expensive in the end. And so I'm being, you know, self-sufficient. I'm, I'm doing everything on my own from beginning to end. And I've got everything that they ever had, you know, and so okay. I don't really have to worry about that anymore. Save and all that I money and, and you still deliver quality product, you know? Um, well, you know, Kate, it was so great getting to know you. Let's keep in touch. Cause you know, Please, uh, yeah. I, want to, I want to invite you back on um, cause they're the same site. I do another <laughs> show with the co-host um, Tom Collier. He's a lead singer and guitar player for this band held hostage. They're, they're based out of New York. And it's, okay. the show is called This Is Metal. And um, and so I'm going to send you a clip of one of the past episodes just for you to check out okay. um, later. And I want to invite you to come on the show. And you just let Benjamin know because we're starting to book new shows for December and January. Maybe when, when we have you come on This Is Metal, um, sure. it's your choice. You want to come on alone? You want to bring your husband? That's cool, too. So you guys yeah. let me know what you want to do, okay? Sure. Yeah. yeah, whatever you'd like. You know, you just let me know. I yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, He's a guitar teacher. Oh, that's cool too. So he's actually at work right now. He gets off work. He works a later hour. Um, he gets we'll off work. We'll at, make it if you guys want to come on together. We make it when you guys are both available. But yeah. um, what's cool about this is this is how I meet people um, doing this. And uh, once you come on, we like to keep in touch. So, like you yeah. know, we're talking about Bangalore today. But you know, next time, uh, you know, if you put out a solo song you want us to talk about. Uh, reach out to me and we're we're more than uh, happy to um, do that for you okay yeah definitely look up uh kate french metal vocalist on um online if you google kate french metal vocalist i think it'll pull up my instagram page and possibly my x or twitter page and then um i don't do that too much and then uh facebook is just yeah, think, my personal page it's like